Facts about ladybugs Who doesn't love a ladybug? Although best known as a red insect with black spots, ladybugs come in a variety of colors, and some have stripes or no markings at all. The little red bugs are so beloved because they are beneficial predators, cheerfully chomping on garden pests such as aphids. The ladybug useful to humans and the environment. This is because they consume many insects each day. Ladybugs aren't true bugs at all, they're beetles. They belong to the order Coleoptera, which includes all of the beetles. See how many of these nine amazing facts about ladybugs, you probably didn't know. So make sure to watch until the end. Ladybugs are beneficial insects that play a major role in keeping down populations of insects that feed on plants. Perhaps most importantly, ladybugs are predators with an insatiable appetite for aphids. Number 9. Not all ladybugs are black and red. The most common are red and black or yellow and black, but some are as plain as black and white, others as exotic as dark blue and orange, from ashy gray to dull brown to metallic blue. Their patterns vary, too, some have stripes, some have squiggles, and some have no pattern at all. The harlequin ladybug can be yellow, red, black, and almost any combination thereof, and it has any number of spots. There are 5,000 different species of ladybugs, 450 of which live in North America. Number 8. Those colors are warning signs. The bright colors and stripes or dots are meant to intimidate frogs, birds, and other small mammals that may consume them. When threatened, ladybugs secrete an oily, foul-smelling liquid that further deters a predator from snatching them up. They'll also play dead to avoid being eaten. Number 7. Ladybugs eat a tremendous number of insects. Ladybugs earn their place as a desirable insect based on their preferred diet of plant-damaging insects, including aphids. Ladybugs lay hundreds of eggs in aphid colonies, and as soon as they hatch, the larvae immediately start feeding. They act as a free form of pest control for plant life and other crops. On average, a ladybug will consume over 5,000 insects in its lifetime. This is equivalent to around 500 insects each month. Number 6. Ladybugs defend themselves with toxic chemicals. Don't panic, ladybugs won't harm you unless you eat many pounds of them. But a lot of ladybugs produce toxins that make them distasteful to birds and other would-be predators. When threatened by a predator, the ladybug has a known defense mechanism referred to as the reflex bleeding. When this is activated, it exudes an alkaloid toxin found in its body through the joints of the exoskeleton. These noxious substances are linked to a ladybug's color, the brighter the ladybug, the stronger the toxins. Number 5. Adult ladybugs fly with hidden wings. Ladybugs don't look very aerodynamic. Their colorful domed backs are made of modified wings that are basically hardened armor. Flapping them would get a ladybug nowhere fast. So how do these insects fly? When a ladybug takes off, it lifts up those protective covers. Underneath is another pair of wings that are slender and perfect for flight. Normally folded for easy storage, they unfold for takeoff. Number 4. Ladybugs lay extra eggs as a snack for their young. Why would a ladybug expend energy producing eggs that will yield no offspring? Scientists hypothesize the infertile eggs provide a ready source of food for the young larvae which hatch from the fertile eggs. Ladybug moms lay clusters of eggs on a plant, but not all of those eggs are destined to hatch. Some of them lack embryos. They're a tasty gift from the mother ladybug, the newly hatched larvae will gobble them up. Number 3. Ladybugs hibernate in winter. 
Instead of heading south for the winter, ladybugs hibernate in the winter months and will not fly when temperatures fall below 55 degrees Fahrenheit. As days get shorter and temperatures fall, ladybugs seek shelter behind bark, under leaves, or in other protected locations. When the aphids begin to disappear, ladybugs realize that winter is coming and flock together to reproduce right before entering hibernation. Convergent ladybugs gather in the mountains in such numbers that collectors can scoop them up by the bucket. Number 2. Farmers use ladybugs to control other insects. Because ladybugs have long been known to eat the gardener's pestilent aphids and other insects, there have been many attempts to use ladybugs to control these pests. The first attempt, and one of the most successful, was in the late 1880s, when an Australian ladybug, Rhodolia cardinalis, was imported into California to control the cottony cushion scale. The experiment was expensive, but in 1890, the orange crop in California tripled. Number 1. They aren't bugs. Ladybugs aren't bugs, they're beetles. True bugs belong to the order Hemiptera, and these include familiar insects such as bedbugs and cicadas. Ladybugs, on the other hand, are part of Coleoptera, the beetle order. Many entomologists prefer to call them lady beetles, or coccinellids. Ladybugs are just one example of the many types of beetles or helpful insects you want in your lawn. Ladybugs, or lady beetles, are considered a beneficial bug which helps rid an area of crop-damaging aphids, mealybugs and other destructive insect pests. That's all for today. Please share your experiences in the comments. Like if you enjoyed the video, subscribe for more to come, and we'll see you next time.